everybody. It's Fiona Fernandez. Welcome to my live. I'll just get my video on and my comments, etc. As we do. Hope you've all had a good day. And I've also got to make sure my sound is working, of course. I'll just get that large. Go live and large. Okay, I can hear myself. I'll turn that off. It's always good to have some sound. Hi, Chitska. Good to see you here tonight. In name. <laughs> So what an exciting weekend we had. Very excited about that. For those who don't know, we had on stage at home over the weekend with Stampin' Up, which is very exciting. It's um, They usually do it in person in November up at the ICC in the city, but we couldn't go because they've changed everything with COVID. And so we did it at home. So this was my space and I had it all set up and we got this beautiful bag. Uh, well, if we ordered it, and there's all sorts of things. So it's quite big, and it's got an extra pocket bit at the bottom with a sock thing in it and a pocket. And inside the bag, it's got ice creams. There's actually a lovely new stamp set coming out in the next catalogue with the ice creams. And got this gorgeous little box, which I've now decorated a little bit more. So you may have seen it on one of my posts. Hi everybody, hi Amanda, hi Athena. And I actually decorated, we got little stickers in the box with the bag. So I've put some extra pieces around the edge of it and I've added an ice cream here and a dragonfly there. But Mandy Witherby is my team leader, my upline. And she made these for all of her team that were doing on stage. So that was really nice, thank you Mandy. They're a beautiful little box and inside it were lots of goodies. Half of them are gone now because I ate them. And a lovely bone folder with our names engraved on them. So I'll be using that on my table. So that's what's in that little box. And these are little mini um, pumpkin boxes. Pumpkin, what do you call them? Paper pumpkin <laughs> boxes. Why am I looking in the bag? Because there's a paper pumpkin box in the bag. So you can buy these little boxes from Stampin' Up and decorate them. They come flat and you fold them up and you can decorate them. So they make great little gifts for Christmas or anything, really. Any any gifts. So I'll just pop that over there. And the other thing I have in the bag is the paper pumpkin box. So I will put the bag down there. <laughs> I don't have it falling all over me. And... The paper pumpkin. This is the joy to the world one. So I'm looking forward to playing with that a little tonight. And we're going to play with a few other things as well. So that'll be fun. I always like to have a bit of fun and just relax. And if you're going to do some stamping with me tonight or making your Christmas cards. Hi Linda. It would, feel free to grab your stuff and come on over and let's craft together. It's a great way to get some Christmas cards done. I, I've done a few because I've been doing them for classes and for my lives now. So that's got me started, but I've got a few to go yet. I like to send out a, a few Christmas cards every year. I've been doing that for many years and I really enjoy just sitting there relaxing and creating them all. So the other thing I just want to mention before I put my camera up there and we play craft is the class that I'm doing on the 28th of November I'll, I'll just grab that kit to show you so I did put a post on as a reminder today and oh, I'll just show you what that looks like out of the box because I finally got it out of the box so I don't want to make it all yet because we're going to do it in the class on the 28th but it comes with a an instruction kit and so we'll be making the box as per, well, you feel free to be creative and change it up, of course. And we'll be making that. And it's a Christmas countdown project. So if you wanted to join the class, I still have some spaces. And what I do is prepare, um, I'm doing online classes. So I prepare a card kit. If they were doing cards, I cut everything first. So with this one, I will supply some extra designer series paper like so these are already pre-cut so I've just popped a couple out so you can see that they're cut out 
And so what we'll do is the designer series paper that I supply you, you can then use this frame to trace around and then cut out the other designer series paper so we can cover the back of the little um, drawers as well. So that's exciting. So I, yeah, I've still got a few spots and I'll also be providing a little bit of bling, a little few bells and the alphabet dies I showed them last week. Um, so that you could use the alphabet on the other side if you want to. I've seen some people do that as a fun thing for kids as well. But you can use it, you know, I'll just show you the, the numbers look like that. So these are the ones that all come in the kit. Just got bits everywhere. <laughs> and the little boxes are like that. So they just pull out. Just got one end of it open. And it just comes out. So you can cover one side of them and then cover the back of them as well. Change it around so it's not Christmas all year round, unless you want a Christmas all year round, that's okay too. So that's the little kit. So let me know this week if you want to do that because I need to prepare the kits for you and get them out to people. So that's within Australia. If you um, uh, buying, uh, if you want to do this one, you need to order this online as well on or through me, through Stampin' Up, and I've got all the links to all of this in the events that I've posted already. But just contact me if you need help with that. If you wanted to make something of your own that you already have, that's fine. I can still supply the kit, and so the class is twenty dollars, and that's with the pre-cut pieces. This kit here is. Oh, someone's going to ask me. <laughs> can't remember it's on my um hang on a moment it's in the catalog <laughs> here it is right right in the front page of the catalog the mini catalog that is this, this catalog okay it's right there kits and i just need to move my glasses just a moment please <laughs> i can't see the price hang on i think it's on the next page no no yes no yes it's on page six of the catalog with the prices and all the bits and pieces so you can see what's in it and it is drum roll please 52 dollars for the kit okay and what does it say it says get ready for christmas with handcrafted advent decor fill the boxes with small treats and let the countdown begin kit includes supplies to decorate 25 mini boxes plus a sturdy outer box to hold them all and it's got all the measurements there you will need adhesives and if you want to stamp anything the colors that go with it are cherry cobbler early espresso gold foil mossy meadow and white so there you have it so if you spend over 50 dollars in my stampin up shop i will give you a free gift as well on top of that Let's just pop that over there pop this back where on the floor <laughs> So that'd be great. I've got a few people joining me already for the class and we just do it on Zoom and have a bit of fun. The Zoom does drop out after 40 minutes and we all just log back in, you know, go for a walk, stretch a little, go get something to eat or a coffee, um, go to the bathroom, all those things. So you have plenty of breaks in between. We don't stop for too long, but we do, you know, have that little space to stop and start again. And we go from one to four o'clock. So that's Saturday the 28th of November and one o'clock. So let me know this week. That'll be fantastic. Right. So I think that's all I had to show you before I put the camera above me. So hang in there for a second. Have a chat between yourselves. <laughs> Back in a sec. got a new grid paper today that came in the let me don't get giddy see my new grid paper that came in the bag I have to adjust my stand a bit and plug myself in just got to plug this in so we don't go flat tricky on the stand got this stand years ago but it still works it's just a bit wobbly at times just got to get myself <laughs> stabilized <laughs> stabilize me get my cord out the way 
anyone started making Christmas cards yet? Hi Diana. I know I'm going to need that OCD. Um, I'm going to need my OCD <laughs> coaster now. <laughs> Whenever I put this up, I bumped the stand. I got it all set up earlier and then I bumped it. I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I thought I'll just get it right once I'm in here. Oh, we're almost there, I think. I've got a little bit of delay on my screen, so I just have to wait a moment or a few. A moment or a few. So some of the things I've pulled out tonight, you might remember I mentioned last week about using the One Sheet Wonder. I'll do that in a minute, but I thought first I would just pull out the paper pumpkin box. Am I still crooked? <laughs> I'm crooked. One day we'll get this right, won't we? I think we'll get it right tonight. I'll try not to bump it. I'll try not to bump it all the time. Got wires in my face. Very high tech here. Okay, I'll move my OCD plate poster out of the way. That's my little fun thing. There's my lovely little bone folder. Isn't that lovely? That's got my name on it and we're part of the gems, the paper craft gems and they got their little diamonds on there. Oh, Athena's made some cards. Fantastic. Wow. You've been busy, girl. I haven't. What's dangling in the way? Get that out of the way. Sorry. I don't like fiddling with technical things, but it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Okay, I've got the paper pumpkin. Now, I know some of you already have this, which is great if you haven't. So this um, Stampin' Up! have started bringing these out for us. Other countries already have them as a monthly subscription. Then we've just got them at the moment. We had the, what was the other one? Box of Sunshine. We had that a few weeks ago, so that's been out for a while, and it's now on the clearance rack. So if you wanted a box of sunshine, make sure you grab those while they're on clearance rack. And I did put a post up about that the other day. So they're a little bit cheaper than they were originally. It's always nice. So I have opened this to this point, but I haven't opened it all the way yet. <laughs> so there's a little paper that comes inside of it, and it has sentiments in English, French and German so that you can get some pen pals around the world. They've also got a Facebook group, yeah, that's on here I think a Facebook group, Joy of Paper Pumpkin and you can connect with people on that all over the world so that's really exciting too so I'll just pop that over to the somewhere over to somewhere <laughs> the stamps that come in it I hope you can see them We'll play with these in a second. And it's got a nice little wreath. Joy, Merry Christmas to you and yours, sending to the world and a nice little flower. Wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. That's nice. Comes with a little uh, stampin' spot, Just Jade. So I won't open that tonight because I've already got Just Jade in another ink spot. And it actually comes with the paper in it. So you can use it as a gift box as well. So you can make the cards and send them and then you can actually put a gift in there and use the box and I can't do it up. I can't do it up. Right, so I'm going to just pop the box. So you see, you could wrap a gift in there to keep that paper nice. And there's usually something in the other box that had something on it to put over this so that you can actually cover that up and make it as a lovely gift box. And you've got twine in here as well. I'm just gonna cut this open. It all comes in a nice neat pack. Get my paper snips working. So it comes with enough to create eight cards. And it has everything you need in it except um, the stamp block. So you will, if you don't already have a stamp block, you will need a D stamp block. And this one, you're going to ask me the price. The price is $37 for the kit 
and $14 for the block. So the block that you would use is this size, D. Um, this is one from last year. Last year's on stage. <laughs> I've got an on stage block. Um, but that's the size. You see it fits onto the, the wreath there. So there's a little thing of twine. You've got your stamp and dimensionals to use. So it comes with the adhesives. It's got some embossed. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Let me come closer to the camera. See what I can do. Some embossed sheets already. And they're just little bits of card. And it will come with instructions too. So you, it's good because you can, there's the envelopes. You can vary what you do with it. You can follow the instructions as is and just make what's in the kit. Let me find the instructions. Here we go. Take the pumpkin. So there's a whole lot of different ones you can make. And or you can change it up. So it shows you inside uh, what you can do with it. So we'll just have a little play with this for a second <laughs> before we move on to something else. Now these, don't be fooled by these, when I first got the other set, these are glue dots and see how they've got writing on some of them? I thought they were some fancy embellishment and I thought, wow, they're interesting, but it turns out they're not, they're a glue dot, so they're double sided glue dots, so that's why they've got the paper on the outside to show you that that's a glue dot. And so when you put them on, you'll peel the paper off. I won't do that now. <laughs> So here's the cards. Oh, aren't they pretty? They're gold. Got gold on them. Gold dots. Oh, and there's a whole lot of flowers. And wreaths already. There we go. And oh, there's gold in there as well. That's pretty. Oh, I've got all these cutouts. Look. Oh, that's fun. Oh, wow. Um, oh, me. Does it all say? What's that one say? love love amour okay so remember on your other sheet here it said what the french words were so peace i don't know how to say that in french how do we say that pay is it you're making more good on you athena harmony okay so you know which ones to use out of these all right so tonight i'll just open my box again <laughs> So I can put some things back in it that I'm not using. Um, hmm, we'll have a quick look at what's here. So we've got some little white cutout bits as well. So they've already got all the lines in them, little dotty lines. Oh, they're cute. Okay, I'll just put some of these away. Stick one out here. And oh, here we go. They've got red in them as well. Look, ooh, aren't they pretty? And we've got all the words in there to match. Come up closer. Can you see the words? Look at that. Lovely. Okay, let's put my envelopes back in the box. I don't need them out. And we'll just pick one, I think. What have we got up here? Okay, instructions. So it says to pull out all the words. What's that one say? Oh, that's string. I'm trying to work out what it was. All right. I quite like the look of this one here. I'll put that down on the table. And so the colours in here, did I read out the colours? I think I did, didn't I? Yes. I haven't got them written in front of me now. I read them out before. They're on this sheet. Or was I thinking of the other colours? I could have been. I read the colours somewhere earlier. Now I can't find it. <laughs> oh, don't you hate that? Okay, let's look on here. This might tell you. It says, Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Just Jade and Soft Sea Foam. So you could match some of these other colours in. See, look here. Isn't that pretty? So you could grab another bit of card and I just happen to have one under my elbow. So you could always put 
a bit of other card in there. See, look how nice that looks with it. A little piece like that behind the flowers or something like that. So there's all different things you could do with it if you don't want to just use the kit. But I like it because you, if you've never done any crafting before, you could just grab a kit. <clears throat> it also makes a great gift for people because if, you know, to give them something to do, even as a family get together, you could all sit around and make your cards together. Lots of fun. So we'll just grab one design there. I think we'll go with this one. And what do I want out? Merry Christmas. I'll just get my Just Jade out. It's up on the wall here somewhere. So I've already got a little ink spot like this and I bought the ink separately and inked the ink spot up to do that one. So they use one of these for the Christmas. And we need the word... Merry Christmas out of our little set here. So it comes with a clear bit of plastic on it so you can put them back in here. I'm just going to take that one out. And to put your stamp on the block, I'll just pop it down like that so it's not being stretched and just put my stamp block over the top and push it on like that. Okay. And good. What set are you using, Athena? Are you using the same set? Now I'm going to stamp this off onto a piece of paper first because it hasn't been used before. I probably should have washed it as well. See, it's gone a bit funny there. So I'm going to get out my chamois. My chamois. And just give it a bit of a, give it a wipe to get off any residue that's on it when they're new. I'll try that again. That looks better coverage this time. See that? I'm actually happy enough with that just to stamp straight on here. And as you can see, I don't want to get my mat all dirty yet. It's brand new. <laughs> this was the the um, grid paper in the box. We got a few of them actually. Oh, now it's gone a bit funny there. Hang on. Let's get some more ink can't see over it. Hang on. Get my head in the way. Sorry about that. Whoop. There we go. Lovely. So there's our little Merry Christmas. My little ink spot up there. It's nice, isn't it? And then we've got I'll put this down here so that we can see it. My block up there. Stuff everywhere tonight, haven't I? I try to be tidy. <laughs> you always get messy when I start stamping. It's just fun. Okie dokie. Now I'm just going to fold my card like this. It's already scored. You can see the line across the top there that dips into the paper like this. So if you were scoring it yourself, you'd run the scorer along and then you'd have this little crease so you, you fold it that way. I'm going to use my lovely new bone folder and I am going to fold from the back and just so that if, in case I mark the card at all, it's not going to mark the front of my card. I'm just give that a wipe over and it gives it a nice crisp fold. Okay, so this is the one I'm playing with tonight. And we need a gold piece of this. I think these are stickers by the feel of them. I've done this before though and it hasn't been. <laughs> and I separated the... I'm just having a look. Is it a sticker or not? Athena, is it a sticker? Um, what has she said? Mixing and matching? Yeah, I like mixing and matching. Laminate one of the sheets. Oh, yeah. Still working on my gorgeous one. Oh, 15 cards. Wow. That'll be nice. Now, I can't tell if that's a sticker or not. If anyone knows if it's a sticker, just let me know. That'd be good. Oh, I like that down there, actually. Look at that. 
So the joy of this is you could follow what's on here or you can make it your own. So I'll try and stick to what's on here. <laughs> just for one. So these just pull out. And that looks like it's going on a piece of the white embossed card. And these are also really good for if you want to do a quick card. So I'm going to put that under there. Is that right? I think that's right. And then we've got that over there. Uh, I think it's just a card. Yeah, I'm thinking it's just a card, not a sticker. Thank you, everybody. You need to glue it. <laughs> I, I've tried to pull them apart before. <laughs> and it's all right. It's going to be hidden a bit under there. So then that goes there. I'm just going to place things first to see what it looks like. And then that one, I don't know. I don't really want to cover up the whole flower. I think it's a shame to cover up those beautiful flowers. But then again, I guess it gives it a good look, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, oh. Okay, I'll stick with the program. <laughs> I'll stick with the program. All right. So we've got the glue dots and the... Where did I put my glue dots? Here they are. Here's the glue dots. So I'm going to put this one down with the little glue dots. So just peel them off like that. Oops, and don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do it that way. Oh, the little paper bit came off there, see? All right, that one's going to be like that. And just fold the edge of it over if you've gone too close to the edge. That happens some days, doesn't it? Not a stick of things. Swing them around the other way. Swing what around the other way? Oh, you mean the flowers? Oh, put them out that way. Yeah, I was trying to stick to the picture. It'll it'll happen. Something will happen anyway. I get. I not. I haven't used these little glue dots before. <laughs> I'm used to the other one. So the other glue dots that come from Stampin' Up, you can buy in a box like this. And when you use it, the glue dots are here. So you actually use it against your paper. So you would use it like this. Push it on hard and then carefully peel it off. And it's on there like that. So that's the other glue dot. All right, but these little ones come with their own, which is handy because you don't have to have the others. You just have to learn how to use them. Right. I think I've got them. I'm going to put one more back up on that corner that I got in the wrong spot. Got stuck on my fingernail. Okay. So I'm just putting one on each corner. I think that's enough. I'm going to reach the garbage bin tonight to find another bin. I've moved the bin. It's not good. Right, I've got another one always good to have a bin handy and I've just got a little container so that I can throw my little bits in there and then they don't end up in the middle of my cards now is that that way or that way I think I'll go that way All right. and I'm just looking at the picture for this one I think that's about straight I think it's hard to tell I'm not sitting over the top of it that's not quite right I'll come down a bit Calm down a little bit. Look at it like that. No, it's not. Oh, it's really hard with these other lines on the page. It's like, oh, actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because the other lines are there. It's really good. Oh, yeah, the flowers. I thought that's what you meant. Now, I'm going to put my little gold band on there. I'm going to, I'm going to grab out some Tombow. And just do this because it's quicker because <laughs> I'll be quicker that way <gasps> I do like my tombow although I'm tossing up yeah I think I'll I'm just going to do this one pretty flat I'm going to raise the Christmas bit up I feel like the white's not straight but it is straight when I look at it like that when I look at it like that I look down the sides. See how you can see it's quite straight there? Yeah, that's how I check it. 
Right, now, so let's play with this for a second. If we put a flower like that and one like that, then we got a bit of both, haven't we? Or the flower like that and that one like that. And we've got, I think I like that way better. Any boats? While you're thinking about that, I'll get out some twine. Oh no, maybe it does look better the other way. Now that it's a bit of a delay on my screen, <laughs> so I can actually see the first way I did it. Oh, oh no, I think I like it the first way when I saw it on the screen. Okay, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go back to that. I liked that. With that. It looked nicer on this on the big screen. It looked nicer. This gave it a bit of fullness, you know. So they've got a bit of twine under here. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, don't play with twine that often. Does anyone else play with twine a lot? What do you think about that much? About that much? One, two, there's a picture on here about how to do your twine. I saw that. There was a picture in here, see? Over here. It said do about that much. Alright, that's how much we're doing. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Just cut it off. Alrighty. I'm stuck to things. Right back there. And that is going to go under my flowers, I think. Let's move my flowers over. <laughs> the twine's all curly. Ah! Yes, I do like that better. Okay, how are we going to put the twine in? Ah, dear me. Maybe I should have stuck it under the gold thing first. Yes, probably. It's a bit tricky when it's so twisted. Yes, so do I, Amanda. <laughs> I like to fiddle with it first before I stick it all down. Well, I mean, if you were just following this, you could just follow that. That would be fine. Okay, this is weird. Not working. So, I think once we get there... I got enough twine out. I need it out a little bit more. Hang on. I didn't expect this to take so long. <laughs> Never mind. As usual, I've got all night. Not sure if you have though. Alrighty. I think that'll do. Okay. So I'm going to pop my... I'm just going to leave that sitting there and then I'm going to pop my flowers on. So I'm just using a bit of glue and then I'm going to pop my words up higher. So I think I had that about there before. I'll just check this one before I pop it down. And that one was there. Let's hold that down. So the other old you can pop all of it up on the dimensionals if you wanted to. Is that how I had it? Yeah. Like that. Let's give it a bit of a push down. That one's sitting up a bit. Okay. And then that'll go up there. A bit of glue under there. Hold it. A little bit more under here. So I'll just turn that around. Just putting a bigger, bigger bit of glue under there. Right, and now I'm going to use the dimensionals on the back of this so it sits up higher. Just put one at the corner. Put that in the box. I'm going to get all my other bits off here and into the box. So I won't lose them. So I'm going to be making lots more.
don't forget to pull the middle one off okay I've forgotten that before and then I had to get my spatula out my pick a, take a pick tool <laughs> and go in carefully underneath that now I better put that up the right way Kidoki, dokey yeah, I like that with the red out the top I like it now I've got to get my head back in there again to get this in the right spot Okay, I think that will do. That's okay. Okay. Now I can't see my other bit of ribbon there. The other bit of twine's disappeared down there. Can't see it. No, I can't see it. Okay, well, there you get the idea. And if you wanted to do more fussy stuff with the little bit of twine, you could stick it onto the back of the flowers first. And to get it positioned, I've seen Athena do that and a few other people. The dimensionals are fatter than the usual ones, are they? Oh. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, they're a bit white, a bit fatter there. Yeah, these are the mini ones. Oh, yeah, they are a little bit bigger, aren't they? Look. There you go. Have them all at my fingertips over there. That's my first Christmas card with the Joy to the World set. How cute is that? And if you wanted to add more embellishment to it, you certainly could. There's plenty of other things you could um, find in Stampin' Up! to add bling or um, just leave it as it is. It's got lots of gold on it anyway. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, I'll just put all my little bits away. I might leave Merry Christmas out and use that again later in something else. Right, I'll move the joy to the world out of the way for now. That's good fun. And the other thing I was going to talk about tonight, hang on, I've got to put my dimension. My little spots away, my little dots. Oh, my twine. Just don't want to lose them. Okay, so I have talked last week about, if you're, I'll make some more cards after this and put them online using some other variations with this, with the Just Jade as well, okay? So I'll just pop that out of the way over there and I just want to show you. So uh, one of the ladies from Stampin' Up! Shannon West did something last week in the demonstrator website using the double wonder cards and it's a quick way to get some Christmas cards or any cards done thank you Dana and what it does is it uses this layout so that the idea is that you use up all of your DSP without having little bits left over and it's great for for using up some of the DSP so she I've just printed a couple of things up so she's got these layers and there's a link to this layout in my links page that will be posted up later on my Facebook page and here's just some samples so the lady that created this one is Julie Davison she created the template for Shannon and she's done one with this other set here I think that's the Magnolia Lane one but it just shows you what you can do with it so with this set here that's half of the big one so I'll just grab one of those out I've got a few things sitting on my desk here to show you so if you were doing a whole sheet like this this is half of it so you've got six by twelve okay six by twelve and you cut it to all these measurements and this one here is another sample so you get all those cards out of one piece of DSP you just need your other different backgrounds and this one here is showing you if you were using the 6x6 with the same layout what she's done here is made these two narrower so in the four here so you've got your one two three four here and then this one is cut in half sort of there and then you've got the extra one and the one across the bottom is also cut so you just change that up a little bit with how you use it but you've then got these ones over here 
so you can if you've got six by six sheets like this so these are out of a different set and you could do those with that and I do have another one I'll just pop that out there got another one from somebody else who made one for a six by six so again you could use this for a large piece of DSP and just do the same like in all corners otherwise that's a little six by six okay and there's some little samples there of what she's done with them so the little triangles are in here there's a triangle there. there's a triangle behind that so I don't actually have this stamp set but I just thought I'd show you how she's used all the bits of card and DSP just to give you an idea so there's a link to this one and this one on my links page if you want to have a look at those and use them so that was made uh, Shannon West and Julie Davison and this one was made by where's her name it's over here Lisa I don't know how to say her last name Sergio yeah I think so so Lisa's stamp and studio.com alrighty so that's what I thought we'd play with tonight. So, I don't know, are you stamping with me? Anybody going to chop up some DSP while we're talking? I'm going to chop some DSP. <laughs> and I think I'll go with... Which one will I go with? Oh, before I do that. Look what I got. I got the mini catalogue. And it's coming out in January, January to June. So I can't open it and show you anything, but I can show you the front cover. Isn't that exciting? And there's some beautiful things on there. Look, that's like gold leaf. So that looks like lots of fun after Christmas. So I'll be, I did an unboxing video yesterday and you can get a sneak peek of a couple of things because being a demonstrator, I can pre-order things and with on stage yep amanda's ready <laughs> on stage you get to do an extra pre-order which is really nice like of the earlier products like products earlier before they come out right let me find my cutter i have to find the cutter i've buried it just a moment please let me just find some paper i have a habit of burying all my bits and pieces so I'll get that out of the way. And my cutting machine. Ta -da! Here it is. Uh oh, I moved the paper. <laughs> okay, now I'll have to put this so you can see it. Now, if this is going to fit on my table, is it? Yes, we'll make it fit. So I'm going to pull out the side bit. So on this one, it's got little samples down the side and they've put like the bit of white there okay so you need card to make the card bases and I've got a few bits of card sitting right next to me to play with in a moment find my DSP so I thought I'd cut two sheets up so I've got this one and this one which has that on the back and these are out of so I used this kit a few weeks ago with my other class that I did online and it's the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. That one. Heartwarming Hugs. So that if anyone's already purchased that, then, you know, here's something else you can do with it. I used it with the coffee cups the other week. And we made uh, little coffee carriers. So it says here, let me get my glasses in the right spot. Cut four and a half inches off the end of the designer series paper and cut it into one and a half by three inch pieces. So here it is here, one and a half by three inches. So these are all one and a half wide. <clears throat> so we're going to cut four and a half inches off this piece here. So I'm going to cut the whole sheet off. So let me just work out what I'm doing. So when I say cut it off that side, I'm cutting it off this side. So I hope you can see me. So here's, I'm working in inches because that's what she gave us. I didn't find one yet that has got the um, centimetres, but I've got both measurements on this trimmer, which is very handy. 
Four and a half is there. I better pay attention, haven't I? <laughs> Don't want to cut them wrong. <laughs> okay. So I just always read your measurements twice. <laughs> four and a half, four and a half, four and a half. Let me see what the other side is like. So because it's checkered, it doesn't matter which way I cut it. If you were cutting a piece of paper and you want it to look a certain way, both of these aren't going to be a problem because they're both like that. But occasionally you'll get a DSP that's got a pattern on it that you want to have a certain way. So there's my four and a half. Four and a half. Mix and match the pieces onto a three and a quarter by five inch piece of whisper work. Oh, I've got to cut them all up. I've got to cut them all up first. Okay, so we want three inch pieces. So I'm going to cut... Um, I'm going to do my one inch. Maybe I'll do the one inches first. I don't know. Which way do you tend to do it? Sometimes I cut the middle first and then cut the shorter to keep it nice and straight. But not enough. Check that. Yeah. Just reading your comments for a minute. No. Oh, okay. Hi, Jill. I just saw you here. Sorry. <laughs> have my head down. It's hard to see all the comments when I've got my head down. Let me just have a little quick check. It's okay if you're late. Better late than never. You can always watch it later. Oh, you've got the new DSP that arrived today and now making a wish list and a shopping list. Oh. Okay. Right, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'll do it this way. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to go to six because I've got to cut the six here. So then we've got two sixes, yep. Yeah. And I'm going to do them smaller. So then I'm going to go to three. So I've got two of these, like this, these two. Can you still see on the screen? Yep. Yeah. I like to have that there for you so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Good if I see what I'm doing. Isn't it 6 inches by 12 inches? Don't put me off, Jill. No. <laughs> It'll be whatever it turns out to be. 6 inches by 12 inches and then cut as for the list. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing it like this. Look, I can be dyslexic some days, everyone. Okay, so <laughs> I hope I'm not putting you off. I hope I'm not putting me off. I might be putting me off. Okay, what have we got? One and a half. So if we've got one and a half, one and a half is to there, one and a half is to there, one and a half is to there. And so we've got a one and a half on this side as well here. So I'm going to go to that one, I think. Oh, will I go to that one? Yeah, yeah right to the edge of the thing. You can go to the edge there. So that gives us one. There's another one. There's another one. I'm just going to cut them all. So if you're doing it to this side, you just line it up to the one and a half on here. You can go either way with when it's only one and a half. But I find it a bit harder to hold it. There we go. There's a one and a half. There we go. We've got all those. We've got those bits there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Them. And then I've done the whole lot, so I'll do more. And I just move that out of the way so I don't cut it up. <laughs> That's okay, Jill. <laughs> don't worry about it. You're just testing me, weren't you? <laughs> Although I guess you could do it that way. Because you might not want to use the whole piece of DSP like I'm going to do. You might want to just cut half of it and keep half of it, which is very handy that they've done it like this, that you can do that. I just thought this is a really good chance to get me going on my Christmas cards. All right, so we've got those lot. So I've done all of those ones, okay? And then, 
So they are for this layout at the top here. And then it's got the next layout here. And that tells you to cut, so this is for four cards, cut four inches off the end in this four inches here. Which way have I got it? This way. <laughs> oh, funny, Anna. Um, there we go, four inches. And it doesn't seem right, does it? What have I done wrong? Feels like I've got too much still. Four plus three and a half is seven and a half. Why have I got 12? That's not right. I've got to turn it around the right way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you just got to measure things, okay? Measure twice. Yeah, that's okay. Right, seven and a half. We go four inches this way, everyone. Okay, four inches off that. And as you can see, it's a tiny bit bigger than the 12 inches. Not much, but a little bit. That's okay. All right, so there's the four inches, this four inches. And it says cut three quarters off one end, this end here. But because I've got two, remember, I am going to cut it. It needs to be one inch by five and a quarter. So that is from here to here is six, isn't it? This. And if we take three quarters off, we're left with five and a quarter to there. Okay. So I am going to cut my paper in half at six inches so that I'm dealing with the two two panels all right so then we cut off the three quarters like this says two three quarters that seems little doesn't it three quarters there and then we want to go an inch we want one inch one inch is there I'm measuring on the one inch on this side this time. It'd be hard to do it live. <laughs> yes, 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 but you'd be surprised I'm like this even when I'm alone, so it's okay. <laughs> and I do sewing and patchwork as well, so I'm sort of used to it, but look, you know, I still make mistakes some days, and with card making at least, it's not really a mistake. You just make something else out of it. With patchwork, it's a little more tricky if you get it wrong. But then again, same, you just improvise, do something else with it. So there's those ones. So that's that lot and one of those. And then I need to cut the three quarters off again. So you can see how effective this will be. Like, you know, if you want to do... A, I don't usually craft this quickly, so... <laughs> I take a long time, I think about it, I play with it, I enjoy it, but when you want to get things done, you know, and get a lot of them done, this is a great way, and I thought it'd be great to inspire us, get us crafting for Christmas. Right, so that's those ones. So that's this card here, and this piece is used for number three here, this piece must go across there. Okay, so I'll just put those ones there. And this one here is, where am I up to? Oh, that's a bonus card at the bottom, okay. Layer three. So I'm looking at the picture. Three and a half inches across, so we'll just double check. Yep, so we've got three and a half. Well, it's tiny, you know, so it's a fraction over because the paper is like that, but that doesn't matter. So we want two of three and a half by two and a quarter. So it's already three and a half. So we want I'll just come this way. Two and a quarter there. Two and a quarter. I want two of those. Two and a quarter. And <laughs> say that's right. I agree, Athena turns into something else amazing right and then these extra pieces are one and three quarters by one and a half hang on let me cut two more of these first I'll do another two of these two and a quarter 
else as I can. Yes, it is a bit trickier trying to read comments at the same time as cutting things, yes. <laughs> and remember where I'm up to. Right, and then this piece will be these pieces. So I'm going to cut that in half, aren't I? Yes, three and a half is one and three quarters. One and three quarters. And then we want one and a half. So that's three, yep. Yeah. Just check in, just check in. Just going to centre that. So that's gone over the edge here a little tiny bit and over the edge of that line there. So I'm just going to go in the centre. And so we end up with our little squares. And we're nearly there. That didn't take too long, did it? Considering, yeah, I might have done it a tiny bit quicker if I wasn't chatting away, but never mind. Okay, so then these ones cut the one and a half by three and a half piece in half, arrange the four. So this one is going to be that card there, and put a greeting on the front. Okay, so I'll just keep those ones. So I'm just going to put them in little bundles up there, and while I've got the cutter out. I need to cut some card. So if I just flip that over for a second and see what colours on the other side. I don't know whether will I mix and match these ones? Maybe I'll do half of this one. And then we can mix and match a couple. So if I cut that in half first, as Jill suggested earlier. Six. And I won't do all of that one because I don't want to take all night. Okay, so we want four and a half. Four and a half. It was fun doing stamping the other day with the on stage. Oh my goodness, did they go fast. We had to have everything pre-cut. Well, it helped if you had it pre-cut. <laughs> I want three. And, oh wow, it was fun, but it was like, go, 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 go. <laughs> when you're in person at the event, it's tricky because you're at a table with other people and you're not in your normal workspace and it's quite challenging. Now that looks funny. What am I doing wrong there? One and a half by three. Is that right? Three. Did I just cut that the wrong way everybody? Did I cut it the wrong way? What did I have there? A six by four and a half. Four and a half. No, I think I've got to cut it that way. Is that right? One and a half. Hang on, I'm just looking. One and a half. One. Oh no, it's okay. Don't worry about me. It's all good. It's all good. It was the colour it got me going. Just like to double check when I'm like that. Okay, that's that one. If I stop cutting now, I'll get lost. I won't know where I was up to, will I? Right, that's the same as that one. And then we want four plus three and a half, seven and a half. We want four inches. Four inches is that one, and this one's the three and a half. So we'll do the four inch one, and we'll cut three quarters off the bottom. Getting into the groove now. That's the bottom one. Okay, but I'm not going to do the other one just yet. Okay, and then we want one inches. One inches. So is anyone cutting up paper with me? Please cut up some paper. Gosh, it's 9.28 already. Doesn't time fly when you have fun? I'm going to keep going for a little bit longer, but feel free to do whatever you need to do. And I'll put the cards on my post later. So I would like to keep going, get some cards done. Now this one is three and a half, and we want it to be two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Right. And then the extra little pieces at the bottom. 
What's that one? Why does that one look funny? Why does that look bigger? Smaller. Wider. Maybe it's, it is wider. Three and a half? One and a half. One and three quarters. One and a half by one and three quarters. Did I cut the other one wrong? No? It looks longer. It looks longer. Maybe it's just that extra piece of card. All right, I'm going to put this one on the top like this to make sure. I've got it at the right spot. Should be if I measure it exactly right, shouldn't it? But remember I went over a tiny bit? I went over a tiny bit, hence the problem. All right, I'm gonna put it there. And that one will be a little bit bigger, I think. No, nope, that actually went off. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Right, oh. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, we need some card. Hang on a second. We need card stock. Right now, what colour will we go? What have we got? We've got that colour, that colour, that colour, and that colour. Right, I think we'll go with... Um, I've got a few colours out. I'm thinking the green. I'll go green in the background. So I'm just going to go, yes, covers are amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Titskull. Thanks for coming. Now I'm going to cut that in half. So it, one, four, eight, five to be precise. And then I'm going to score that at ten and a half. And then I'm going to move my cutter over. Oh. And just fold that down. Just do one to start with. Just so that we all get the idea. So if I start with this top one here. Um, actually, no, I might do the second one because we don't need as much for that one. So I'm going to do one of these. We'll turn our card around so it opens on that side. I'm going to put one. So I'm just placing first to get the feel of it. And I think, see, you could do that, or you could do that, or you could do that, or you could do that. Oh, what else have I got? Or you could do that. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I like the sparkle of that. I might put that on the outside. I think I like it like that. I'm going to do that. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm just going to put those on. Oh, look, I've ended up using the same DSP there after all that. Whoops, the days went off the table. <laughs> oh no, got it on my new... Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what it's for. Okie dokie. There we go. Nothing like a handy tissue. And we're just, I'm going to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing here. But this just goes along here. I think they've used a different card base size. Now that I've gone and cut my card base. It looks like they've used a different card base. And I didn't read that bit. Sorry. Because they're American. They say what colour card base? No, they didn't. Let me have a look. Can't see card bases anyway. Yeah, so I think this looks like it goes higher, but it doesn't really matter. The other thing you could do is stagger it like this. If you thought about it before you stuck it down, <laughs> just put that one up and put that one down a bit. Next time. Next time. Right. I'm just putting that like that. Just carefully pick that up. <coughs> Sorry for the cop. And I'm just going to space that one about the same as the other bit. Hopefully I've got that straight. Well, no, not quite. And with this glue you can move it around a little bit. 
with the Tombow so you're not sticking it down hard straight away. Just put my lid on that. Just push that down. Now the edges are a tiny little bit rough around here. You may not be able to see that but I can feel it. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to rub gently along the edges and just to make sure they're all sitting down nice and flat. Okay. Woohoo! Yep, that feels better. Okay, now we're going to do a sentiment on a bit of white card. I've just got to find a bit of white card. Just a moment, please. There's plenty of white card here. It's just hidden under something. Here it is. Look, look I've got plenty of white card today. I had to open a new packet. <laughs> so, I'm just using Whisper White card stock. And I'm going to, I think I'll use this one. So that's out of the set we were just using. And I'm just going to use the, oh, which colour will I go? Red or green? Red or green? Any votes? Red or green? Let me find my stamps. My inks. Real red. So this one is real red and what's that one? Mossy Meadow. And the other colour in this set is Pear Pizzazz. You can put that with it as well, which is nice. I might do another one with that. So I'm just wondering whether to stamp red or green. Red, red, red wins then. <laughs> Okay, we'll just put the green over there. Red, red, everyone's saying red. Okay, I'm going red. Just gonna move my stamp, my card out of the way. Right, where's my bit of paper drawn? Here's my bit of paper. Now I'm going to cut this out with something, but I think it's too big for my punch. I had a punch out, but it's too big for my punch look. So, but I like the size of this stamp for doing this. So I'll just stamp it and then we'll work out what we're going to cut it out with. Okay. And you could just cut it with the trimmer. I'm just going to stamp it first on my bit of paper just to check. Okay. And I may just cut it with the trimmer. There's lots of different shaped dies. Um, let me see my picture. Okay, I think I'm going to go about there and then I'm going to look at cutting it out. Oh, nice. Lovely. Swatch my stamp. Always wipe my stamps off straight away. Just close that ink so you don't get it all over you. Okay. Um, let me think for a second. Let's see what I've got under here. I did get some dies out, but I think I got the wrong shape. I've buried them now. No, those ones won't work. Because they were the plaid dies. I had them out to do the circle ones. But I will go and grab something. The other thing, there is a punch you can get that does the rounded corners, like they've got rounded corners on here, on the sheet here. Sorry, I've bumped the sheet now. I've bumped the sheet. Um, but I don't actually have that one to do the rounder corners. So we will improvise, of course. And I have one of these here handy. How wide is that? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. So the width of this one is, if I go to that one, it's two and a half centimetres. And if I look on here, it's probably a bit narrow, probably a bit too narrow. It's probably about the same as that. Yeah, it's the same width as that. So if we look at that, we're looking at a strip the same width and I'm thinking of going a little bit deeper than that. So 
I won't use that this time. Yes, it is, Jill. I love it. I've got to say, I'm liking their fonts that are coming out, even in the new catalogue. The fonts are beautiful. Some of the cards, that one we used last week was so nice. Um, back in two ticks. Just a second. I've just got to walk over here and grab something. my box of dies out find one to fit so this one might work so this these sort of cards are really good to do as well if you've got a punch and a stamp that fits the punch like to make it quick and easy and punch them out but I'm sort of making it up as I go along <laughs> As usual. <laughs> well, I think I'll use that one. I think that's all right. That's a nice size for that. Yeah, I'll go with that. So I'm just going to run that through the um, boss machine. And I'll just bring that over here. Oh yeah. You can see what I'm doing. So they, um, we did have magnetic mats but they've recalled them at the moment and they're not selling them so until they sort it out the stamping up so we're just using the, the plain plates now to cut our dies so if you have trouble positioning just use a bit of a, a sticky note or some washi tape if you need to to position to hold them in position I'm going to try and do it like this and see how I go so I just push it get it positioned and then hold it quite firmly and then roll it through. Now it might slip on here because I've got it on the table with paper under it. Which isn't advisable. Bang! Did you hear that? That's okay. Okay. Oh, move that back over there. Right. Here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Stick your die back in the packet straight away so you don't lose it. <laughs> it's not like a stamp that it's going to get stuck on one of your boxes, is it? Oops, I lost you for a minute. Did you? Well, I hope I'm still here. Don't want that happening. We've bought a new um, internet thing so that hopefully I've got much better coverage now. Okay, and then we just pop that on there to make a really simple card. Of course we can bling this up a bit if we want to. I've got the ribbons that match this set. Um, I wouldn't go with this one tonight, I don't think. I think it might be too much. I might put a tiny bit of the red on there. So this is braided linen trim and it comes in the heartwarming hugs set. Let's get my hair off there. Always got a bit of hair there, haven't I? And I might pop that up on dimensionals and put a bit of ribbon behind it. Oh, you think it was you, do you? Well, I'm glad you're back. It's always nice to have everybody here. And it's getting me making my cards and I'm just really loving it. Now that's one way, or you could put a couple of, like a, a bit of a, you know, something like that behind it. I'm just having a play for a second to see what I like. And if I do that, I'll probably need to go up higher. Uh, hmm. Not sure, it's not, not working yet. Um, 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 let's think about this for a minute. Let's try a little bow. Da -da <laughs> Oh, that's a cute bow. Look at that. How often can you do that on a live? Or ever. <laughs> For that matter. <laughs> I think I like that. I think I'm going to go with that little bow. Okay, let's find some dimensionals. Now I'm going to use my little... No, I think I'll use the bigger ones tonight. I mean, it's still too small tonight. Some days I like minis and other days... I like the normal ones. I'm going to these size. 
Haha, <laughs> Athena. Yes. <laughs> So while I'm sticking this down, I'll just tell you what else I've noted tonight. I'm So if you are interested in hosting a workshop, if you're not already a demonstrator, there is a page in the back of the catalogue and there's host stamp sets in the back of here. So 81, right at the back. There's a really cute little Christmas set and it's only $17 but you can only purchase that if you host a party or a workshop with your friends and you qualify to buy that. So when you host a qualifying party you'll earn Stampin' Rewards as well that can be used for free and discounted products. You could even put it towards the starter kit to help you become a demonstrator and you can certainly get more information about that over the page. Okay, so the items, uh, no, that's so this set here can only be purchased if you host a party, if you're a host, you can't buy it otherwise, okay, but that's a really cute set, it's got 20 stamps in it, you could do so many things with that, make tags and everything, it's really cute, I was looking at that today, just an idea, okay, so I think I'm going to put that there and then I'll stick the bow down afterwards, where's my rubbish bin gone, oh, moved it. And the other thing I might play with next week, I thought, was the Boho range. So I haven't bought the stamp sets for it, but I've actually got another stamp set called, uh, what's it called? Where did I write that? Basket of Blooms. And it's really cute, and I thought I could use them together. So that's out of the annual catalogue. Right, now I'm going to stick that there and then I think I'll stick the bow on. I think I'll come right over. Might line this up on the paper a bit, eh? Get a bit straight. Some days it doesn't bother me and other days it does. I think that's okay. It's hard to tell with that bow sitting there. Oh, that's tricky. So again, I'm looking down, when I do this, I'm looking at the line of the card and I'm looking at the line, oops, where's my finger, of <laughs> the type, to try and ascertain if it's straight. It's very hard with that curve, but you know what, I think it looks all right. So I'm gonna just leave that. Right, doesn't matter if it's a tiny bit off because it's handmade. I've got a bit of glue on there from my thing before. I'll put my little mat down, that one. That's a little silicon sheet and I normally put it underneath when I do my gluing but I forgot before. Right, now I'm going to stick my little bow somewhere there, chop it off, oh, I like that, just enough to finish it off, look at that. You could put bling on as well if you wanted to but I think I'll leave it like that. Where's my glue dots? I'm going to use one of these glue dots my boo push it on like that and pull it up and I don't want it sticking out at the bottom so I'm just going to push it under a bit carefully it doesn't stick too much to you sometimes it does there we go I think I'll put it up there I like it there. Oh, that's cute. That cute. Ain't that cute? I like that. Okay, there we go. Merry Christmas, everybody. And then I'll put some white inside as well. I always put a piece of white card in there. As I find it. So I, I'll just trim that down and pop a piece of white card inside it. I'll finish that off afterwards. So that was really nice and easy, wasn't it? 
and you can just go on then and finish putting all your little bits together so I'll probably sit here and do a bit more but not live and I don't want to keep you up all night and that's my little takeaway tonight and I'll try one of the others as well with my I'm going to use some of this card to do the six by six ones as well and I've got a bit of the um, Cajun craze is this color here I'm going to use that as a base with that so if you're wanting to purchase anything there is a links page that will be up on my Facebook page and it'll have all links with the host code already in them to my stampinup.net so that you can purchase things there and again if you want to join in my class on the 28th of November make sure you let me know this week uh, just one last thing if you were after catalogues and you would like a hard copy in the mail let me know before the 29th of November so I can get them posted out with the Stampin Up auto mailer if it's after that that's okay I can still post them to you but I like to post them out to people if they would like a copy and that's my free gift to you so orders over $50 I do send a free gift and you just keep on creating it's good fun and I'll just show you quickly that basket of blues while I'm <laughs> can find it hang on a second had it out oh it's always the way isn't it when you say you're going to show someone something I've gone and hidden it onto something now and it's not at my fingertips like it was earlier let me see hang on it might be over here here it is there's the basket of blooms and this is the boho I won't pull it all out but it's got cut out pieces in it in the packet so I bought the refill kit you can actually buy the whole set so it's got all these beautiful papers in it and I'll just quickly show you what that looks like Where is it? it's in the annual catalogue on page 9 so it looks like this the set and it comes with dies if you buy the whole set the product medley and or you can buy a refill kit and I just bought the refill kit because I already had the basket of blooms stamp set see see how it's got vases so I thought I'd just use that and play with those next week okay I think that's it so thanks for watching and joining me tonight it always goes so quick and I really enjoy it and I thank you for your company so let me know if you make anything feel free to send me a picture I'd love to see your work ciao